What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back and it is time to finally get to the Awakening quest. So for some reason it doesn't show up on the right side of the screen, but that is the quest we have active right now. Sorceress Awakening, Great Sorceress. Uh, it is a seven part quest uh, in order to gain strength. We went over this in the last one, but uh, let's go ahead head up here. I do in fact one shot these things. Guess it's going to make me actually use the ladder. I'm excited to get my awakening weapon, and then we can finally start doing some grinding and whatnot to getting to uh, a higher equipment level, or gear score, however you want to call it. My least favorite jump in the game. Oh my gosh, I hate this jump so much. There we go. I'm up, and... Oh, we gotta go up to the... Where's the ladder? Here it is. Death Sworn Lilith. What a it's a pretty good name. I see some really not good names on this. <laughs> That's actually a pretty good name. Alright, Lion Statue. Something scribbled inside the shield of the Lion Statue, given that some ancient language is mixed in it. it. Must have been written a long time ago. Below the text is a spellbound seal that contains the magic spell that proves the identity of the Karshan of Karshan the Great Sorceress. The lineage of black magic goes back as far as the Book of the Ancient Man. I am Karshan the Great Sorceress, and I shall find the pre prepared sorcerers who managed to discover the seal. You shall head to Tariff, my hometown. Okay, so let's bring out the black spirit here. See, my guts were right. Really, that was it. Okay, so now, now we need to accept the quest. Here we go, grab that quest, and set it as the active quest. How far away are we? We have to go... Okay, we gotta go all the way across the map, so I will see you guys in a moment. Alright, we are in Tariff, and we need to talk to the Chief of Tariff. Now you're on a journey to find Karshan's power. The entire Tariff will help you. I'm sure you've overcome a lot to be where you are today. I suppose I can tell you about the Book of Karshan, then. There has been many forbidden books throughout the history, written by sorcerers and ancient wizards. And inside the Book of Karshan, which we had to seal, there is a great deal of information about a special weapon only she, can, she could handle. In fact, I just heard about this growing up, so I cannot know everything about it. Would you perhaps go meet Alan Serbine, who founded Tariff with Karshan? You'll be able to hear more about it from him. Okay, I wish it would auto-select the next part, but but that's okay. Wait, the, the painting? I've noticed... What? I've noticed the way you handled yourself. You are a capable combatant. Learn under me and you'll be the best. How about it? You wish to learn the Book of Karshan. You mean you want to take the legendary scythe? Ah, if only I didn't seal Karshan's weapons. I wouldn't... I uh, have to be caged in a frame like this, resting in peace instead of with Karshan. Well, it wasn't all that bad, though, for I've been living for so long thanks to that. It's also not bad at all to observe how our descendants are doing. Okay, so we have Secrets of the Nadir Frame. We have the Awakened Ancient Ruins by the Misting Investigators. But this is what we really want. Since Karshan disappeared a long time ago, I haven't been a single sorcerer with a scythe. Not that anyone can handle that weapon. Many sorcerers failed to use it too. Or use it too. Straight to the point. Can you show me you're qualified to use the scythe? Pass the three tests I'm about to give you. Then I'll show you the book of Karshan. Okay. So we need to accept the quality. I can't take any more quests. Okay, so let's, let me, let me get rid of these down here. Don't really need these quests, so let's drop those and pick them. Did these have like, eh, it's just about perseverance and prediction. Okay, let's get into this. So we need Sorcerer's Quality, we need to defeat Friendied Skeletons, Grudge Skeletons, main, 50 mains and ancient weapons at the Harsh Ancient Ruins. I have no idea 
which one is closer, but this is gonna run us all over the map. Because there's that. There's... where are the... I forget where the mains are. Okay, well, well, nonetheless, none, nonetheless, we will catch our, we will, I'll catch you guys in a moment, we'll head over and we'll take this first task and get that done. So, I'll catch you guys in a moment. Alright, here we go, we are at the skeleton area. Are these things even, eh, they actually do more damage than I, or not damage, they take a little bit more damage than I thought. But, they will not be a problem. These enemies are a little bit stronger than I expected, but... Hey, okay, game. Chill. Let's see. Uh, okay, it's at the top of the thing. We've killed four frenzied skeletons. I need to kill... Whatever the... Grudge skeletons are. I gotta find them. Okay, game. Okay, okay, I get it. These guys are actually a little bit tougher than I thought. Oh, there's this grudge skeleton over there. I gotta keep an eye on my health. These guys do a little bit more damage than I thought. Okay. What I have to... I need to start doing this. I haven't been doing it. What I, I forget what it's called. I gotta remember what it's called. But... It weakens the enemies and I think I just need to do it because it, it, it'll I don't know it'll it'll make this a whole lot easier I just always forget to do it which is nobody's fault but my own but it results in this in some you know precarious positions for me okay so let's go over here let's go find another cluster of stuff I have to kill Looks like right over here is a nice little cluster. Hello, everybody. Hello. Do you guys just not notice me? What is this? Okay, whatever. Get some health back from you guys. Okay, so I need to kill two more frenzied skeletons. There's one. go and that'll clear out the rest of them only back out of this all right everybody leave me alone for half a second let's see here now the mains are really close or not really close but they're not they're not like extra far away so let me get this auto pathing and we can take a peek they're right here. I don't know. So the other thing we need to do is the prediction. So that's the ancient weapon or the ancient. Yeah, the ancient weapons. Um, That's the lava. Is it back this way? I actually don't know where the ancient weapons are. I totally just was blind and missed the maid, the mains, but I don't know where the, I don't know where our other kill targets are. We're gonna stay. I'm not gonna cut ahead here. Um, we're just gonna stay. Actually, got some items out of them. Eh, a little bit of money. Not anything too good. That's not from them. Neither is this. But <laughs> that stuff, not too bad. I'm gonna move it down. See what we get from the mains. From farming them. Gotta be pretty close now, yeah. I'll probably cross this and then I'll just cut to the little right and that should get us to the mains. So once we cut this bridge, we can just cut off to the right and we will be there. Have not done a whole lot of main farming. I, I don't think these things, none of these are gonna give me like some crazy experience. These are kind of weird choices, in my opinion, of enemies. Hello. No. Oh, my gosh, game. I need to remap that button, because I do that way too often, where I don't have my weapon out, and I try to do... I try to use my shards of darkness, and it's just stupidity ensues. Yeah, the mains are a little bit weird to me. They're, they're really easy to kill. 
Okay, hello everybody. Can we can we cluster up over here? Come on. Hurry up. He really did not move as fast as I would have wanted him to. There we go. Already got 16 dead. About to have a lot more dead right here. Okay. We'll leave them. Let's head up here to this pack up here. Hello. Oh, you've... There's gotta be... There's always gotta be someone else here. Alright. Let's come over here. Hello, everybody. That dude stole my guys that were following me. Oh, well. Already up to 32. I want to kill the big boy here. Hey, buddy. I'm going to hit you with a little bit of this. And let's dance. What? Hey. Game. Game! What are you doing? Do my attack. What? It's not doing... Oh my gosh, it's not doing my attack. It's not on cooldown, was it? There we go. I don't know why it wasn't... It wasn't on cooldown. That was weird. It wasn't on cooldown. It wouldn't let me do my attack. That's like the bread and butter of my whole entire thing. Is, is doing that. I thought that dude was... I thought that dude was about to try to kill me. I was like... Alright, man. You're probably appropriately leveled for this. And I'm not sure you're gonna be able to kill me. Yeah, like, why... Why is it not letting me there? Game. What are you doing? I don't have enough of this. I don't know why... Oh, you know what? I probably... I probably do not have... Okay. I know what's wrong. I didn't have enough mana... To do it. That's what it was. I'm not used to killing stuff so fast. <laughs> and so I'm not used to using up all of my action points. So. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. It might not have been, but I'm pretty sure that's what happened. I've gotten a whole half a percent out of this. Hello, everybody. this really really cheap really i don't have enough shards of darkness i'm trying to oh my gosh stop it i attracted too many people oh my gosh can we all chill out for just a second this attack is really slow but I really like it as an attack. Okay. Hopefully that dude can cover me for half a second. Yeah, there we go. He was good enough. All right, so let's get out of here. We just have prediction left, which is to defeat ancient weapons at Hasra Ancient Ruins. Hasra? How far away is that? Oh, that's a decent way away. Uh, we'll go ahead and flash, flash forward, fa fast forward over there. I'll see you guys in a moment. Alright, so I don't know if I've ever been here before. I, I don't think I've ever been to the Hasra Ancient Ruins. I literally don't think I've been here. So this is a new experience. And these enemies... These enemies are a lot stronger than the last ones we faced. They're not invincible. I mean, to me, like... Like that Cobra was the other, <laughs> the, uh, like a, a vi two videos ago. That was, that was nightmare levels of, what the, that was nightmare levels of stupidity. Ow, can, can we all chill? I want to use my, I guess I'll just use it. It doesn't look like they gather up as much as some of the other stuff that I fight. So whatever, we'll just use my stuff when I get the chance. And I'm being slowed down. Okay. That's a big enemy. Hey, get get up out of the ground. I I I, I want I want more enemies. Hello, everybody. Can we all gather up here? Oh, I attracted the world. Oh, I attracted the world. I don't have my shield on either. Wait for this. 
pop that. And slaughter him. Clean this guy up. We're almost halfway there. Okay, these guys... Okay, so these enemies are... They're... They're, like, appropriately challenging. They're not, like, overly difficult. But my gear score is definitely way too low. Them slowing me down is some annoyingness. Okay. So, like I said, they're not too difficult, but this is an interesting area that I've never been to before. I kind of like it. Hello, everybody. Can can you all wake up and gather up? Let's see here. I would like... Can you guys get up? And... Okay. Let's do that, and then we'll do this. All Shards of Darkness. And then... What? What? I... I thought I you. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Stop it. Oh my gosh, I can't do anything. I literally can't do anything right now. Okay, that'll wipe out a bunch of them. That works. Oh my gosh, dude. I have put myself into a predicament here. Do do. do. Clear. Oh my gosh, they hit so hard. Stop it. Let's dodge out. I gotta get out. Gotta back it up. Get up. I guess while I'm waiting here for a little bit of health, I can do that and weaken them up a little bit. We need one more kill. You over. Actually. This is available. There we go. There is that all completed. And we can now get out of here. I haven't even gotten 1% of experience from this. Um, Okay, we completed all of that. Now we just gotta go back. But this stupid enemy is in my way. Get out of my way. Alright, let's get out of here. <laughs> How far away are we? We're not too far, but... It's going to take a little bit, so I will catch you guys in a moment. I won't make you guys sit through the run back, so be right back. All right, we are back at our friend The Painting, or the guy sealed inside The Painting. Here we go. Good work. You proved your combat sense. Quite persistent. I think I assessed your quality enough. And how could I not acknowledge you unless I'm some kind of madman? You've got fiery passion. I think I saw enough of your abilities. In fact, it feels weird to take out what I sealed with my own hands. But since you came all the way, please take this. Okay. We need this one right here. So since you got the scythe, you should waste no time and try it right now. I understand it can feel a little awkward at first, but as soon as Karshians descend, but as a Karshians descend it, you'll get used to it soon. Yes, that beauty, that tempting aura. That's what I call a real sorceress. Uh, next up is how to use combinations. I suppose try transitioning from the amulet to scythe. It's a basic combination. You definitely need to get the hang of it. So after using claws of darkness, connect to cards. Okay, so. Okay. I think I can do that. Okay, so let me go over here so we can see. We need to. Ooh, it just straight up gives you a plus 10 scythe. And it gives you a... Okay, so I have two of these now. What am I going to do with that? Okay, so let's put on the plus 10 one. So we have 103 awakened AP. So... So you do this, and then you... Okay. Okay. Let's see. I don't have that many abilities with it. Whoo. It's all, it's, it's all about the comboing. Yeah, but my point is... Wait, can you not... Yeah, you can't really transition back. You kind of just... Hmm, that's weird. I wish there was a combo, like, when I was doing this, if I was doing this. That I could combo back into my amulet, but... Alright, so let me try this out a little bit. 
Oh. Ooh, that's... Hold on, that's interesting. Okay. Okay, hold on. So if you have this out, and you hold LT without moving forward, if you don't move forward at all, if you're just standing stationary, no flick up. So let me, let me pull this out. Okay. So if you're just standing stationary and you hold LT and you click in RB, that pulls your amulet back out. Okay, so that's an, that, okay. So you can so if you're comboing into this and then you're fighting, and then okay, I can't back dash with this. I just roll backwards. But okay, so you're fighting and you need to go to the next mob area. You can pull your amulet back out. Okay, okay, I can get used to that. It's gonna take some practice, but I can definitely get used to it. Okay, so let's head back to the painting. Hey, buddy. So, did you get the hang of it? Karshian Scythe can be used in many combo skills. Keep that in mind when training. Then you'll be able to use those combos without even trying. I'll teach you how to use Dead Hunt. I'm sure it will greatly improve your combat skills. So... Isn't this... Oh, okay. Complete that. Uh, Karshian Scythe practice. Should we try another combination? Let's see what we have. Try using Claws of Darkness, Karthian Scythe, and Dead Hunt successfully. Okay, I already did this, but alright. Okay, so once you do this, and then, oh, hold on. Okay, okay, let me do, let me do this properly. So once you do this, there we go. Interesting. Man, that, I love this attack. Obviously, I need to get a better weapon, but. Alright. I like that. Okay, so let's. Talk to him again. Sir, or Karshan was young and beautiful, just like you. Come to think of it, it's a shame that there's not even a portrait of her. I'll call you the Shadow of Karshan from now on and teach you a special skill called Grim Reaper. Grim Reaper is a useful skill that ignores the enemy's resistance and finds the open spot. Never forget that you're a descendant of Karshan. I'll be praying that Karshan's power will guide you. So... Okay, so, okay. Is that it? Is that the end of our... Is that the end of our, uh, quest for... I guess it is. Okay, so we learned the skill. Now it's pretty much... I'm gonna get into one thing in just a second. Okay, so it looks like... Oh no, here we go. We got, we got more. We got more. We got more. So... How does it feel like having an awakening weapon? Are you not happy? <laughs> I know what you want to do, but why don't you enhance your weapon first? If you do enhancement, you know you can upgrade the weapon, right? <laughs> then let's go to Altanova, find the blacksmith, and get it upgraded. Okay, so this is... Oh, we have an event quest. Okay, so we'll accept this quest... And we will go ahead and do that in the next episode. We got all sorts of quests that I need to get done. Uh, we have combat promotion. I want to do this, and I want to do the event quest. We've got we've got a fair amount of stuff we need to get done. But I am super excited to get this awakening weapon um, equipped. I, I think like being able to switch into the into that attack to switch back, I think is going to be huge. So, like, fighting... Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Well, let's pull it out. Fighting, and then stop, and then you can quickly dash into that. That's what I... That's what I um, need to get practiced in, but like everything, just takes a little bit of time and a little bit of practice, but looking forward to this. This is a level 57 quest, so we'll see if I'm even able to do it. I might have to get my gear score up more before I can get that done, but that's going to do it for this episode, guys. In the next one, we'll take on um, some more quests. If I can't complete that one, we'll figure out something else exciting to get done, and uh, I will catch you all then. Peace.